Obama was in office, he said, we're going to start prosecuting or we're still going to start looking into, you know, these these police that, yeah, are, you know, you know, we're going yeah, to send in special prosecutors because they're getting away with stuff. He did. And the thing was, is that he never pushed that issue, though. Yeah, he did. But and, they and actually they did, the, they did establish they one did, of those uh, committees I, I in the get whole it. nine. I get it. But the thing is, is that the pres- Barack Obama for for everything, for everything they did. He didn't push that. Yeah, he didn't he, push it. He just he he said, look, he got let's, the ball rolling. He said, look, let's start it, and wherever it goes, that's where it goes. But that's what he does. That's 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 what. But it's it's, and that's why I said we're going back, because the current guy that's president, Mister Trump, he hired Sessions to be the head of that the, department. The, the 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 secretary. He's the secretary of. Secretary, not Secretary of Defense, but no, he's he's a he's he's the Attorney General. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> and what he said was, we are no General. longer gonna. Not only are we no longer gonna look into these type of events, we're not even gonna pay them any attention. But now we're also gonna make sure that there's mandatory minimums. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that we're gonna prosecute people who are, you know, the drug dealers. We're gonna make sure that they do more time. But now they're getting it on both. But they're getting it on both sides, though, because the cops are. Do, because here's the thing: is that they're still like cops are getting killed too. And it's this, not. It's not the it's, same. Uh, it's co- not it's, even it's, on the same number. It's not as much at all. Anywhere close. And if anything, it's but, been they're at the lowest numbers of all time. But here's the. But here's the thing too: is that cops still get killed too. Yeah. And the thing is, that's somebody's. That's somebody's oh, dad. Yeah. That's and somebody's I, and I agree son. With that. That's somebody's like. The thing is, it, it, that all that all the shooting period. I'm just talking about the people that retaliate on cops who are just trying to do their jobs, not just cops that were. Because believe it or not, the Dallas shooting, even after what happened there, for a guy to come in and shoot cops just to shoot cops for the sake of making that statement, that ain't right. Oh yeah, of course. That's but not I'm right also at all. Looking at that, that I and, think that was like an inside type of job deal. I, either way, but I'm just talking about the retaliatory. That was more like a red instance. flag deal. The in, the retaliatory, but there are people. That I don't are, think, honestly. I don't think that was retaliation. I think the people that secretly run this country set that up. Okay, that's fine. But there are people. Put it this way: even if you look outside of that, because there are people who believe that when this is done, well, damn, this cop's going to get away with it. So let me go shoot this other cop. Because ambushes have happened oh, to yeah, cops yeah. that were on patrol. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, killing, like, two wrongs don't make a right. That's a simple thing. Two wrongs don't make a right. Now, granted, you want to have a voice for what's going on. You want to go into your, you want to go into your, 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 um, who is it? The, the city, the city police. You want to go into whoever's in charge, the chief, the chief officers, whoever's in charge of it, the police commissioners. You want to talk to these people and be like, hey, look, we're not taking it no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you grab a gun, go out and just start shooting a random cop, I got a problem with that. Because, oh, yeah, of because, course. Because I'm like, dude, like I said before, that's somebody's son. That's somebody's father. That's somebody's... It does Like, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but you don't retaliate against... Everybody. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? There's a way to handle that. But also, there's a problem when, like I said, the when lady, the lady yeah, they're getting off too often. That like, is. You don't see them do time. Yeah, they do get arrested. Yeah, they do get charged. And that's where they kind of leave it. They say, okay, people are going to calm down. Now and then this they, guy get was their, charged they get their murder. pension taken away then, and stuff yeah, like that. Then yeah. the pension gets taken away. They go to court. And usually that's not even covered. They stop covering it. Once the charges are brought up, because most people who are not educated think, oh, he's been charged with murder. He's going to go he's to jail. He's going to go to jail. No. No, they don't. And most of the time they don't. And they pull, they go to, what happens? They they go to pull trial. little situations like they did with the lady in Louisiana. Was it Louisiana? Which one? The one, the one that just, just happened. Oh, uh, that's uh, Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where they don't feed the jurors. Yeah. So, of, of course, the guys are going to be like, oh, fuck it. I'll just vote for whatever. We'll so go. I can get out of here and get exactly. something to eat. Yeah. That's a problem, man. And the thing is, until this systematic, this, I, I want to call it's it. It's wrong on both yeah, sides. It is, but. It's wrong on both sides. People wouldn't be mad if if there was justice. 
You know, that's true. But at how, least one time, but here's these the, guys. But here's the, one guy go to jail. But here's the thing. Well, there's been co- there has now. You can't say no cops. Going oh, to I'm jail. not saying it's none. Just the, it's just the, the numbers. Aren't, at, the numbers the aren't proportioned. Super skewed. Yeah, the numbers aren't proportioned. At I all. guarantee it ain't ten percent. Oh, it's not. I'm, I would guarantee it's less than five. Yeah, but and the that's thing, the problem. But the because thing, you know what? If somebody shoots a cop, ninety five percent of the time, their ass is going to prison. Or dying. Yeah, or dying. Period. Like, that's, that's, you fire at a cop, you're going to die. Exactly. Like, that's just how that's going to work. But, but it's all the system, man. The problem is the system. It is. And the thing is, it's all, it's all, it's all messed up just because, like I said, it's messed up on both sides because I hate the paint. Bro, I can't paint. All, I can't paint all cops with the bad brush and I can't. Yeah, paint, yeah, of course. And I can't. And I'm paint not all, doing that. I'm not doing it. Yeah, as well. I, I just, I just think the system, it's not the cops' fault. They're just doing their job. But the system is what's making their job like that. I think the academy. I think they could. They could actually. Yeah, fix they it could with do the something with the academy. But it's also the thing it's is, more than that. But the thing is, is here's the thing too. Because I heard, I've, I've, I've heard this, and I've thought about this in psychological circles. What's said is that when you put somebody into a situation that they are just absolutely. And here's the thing: when you say, when cops say, "Well, they're terrified." Right, you shouldn't be doing a job. But here's the thing: is that they end up putting cops into neighborhoods where they would be terrified, where where you would be terrified. Exactly. Here's the thing: you're you're a police officer. Your job. Let's let's say you lived in the suburbs your entire life. Even if you're a black cop, bro. Even if you're a black cop and you grew up in the suburbs and you don't have that hood mentality, you're not that guy. You go to the police academy, you get trained, you get, you know, you know how to disarm people, you know how to take care of yourself. Now, you get dropped into one of the baddest neighborhoods. You're not used to seeing, you're not used to seeing any of the, you're not used to seeing any of that. That stuff makes you, that stuff freaks you out. And the thing is, is they're not getting, they're not putting cops in situations where they're used to. Exactly. And the thing is, is some of them are going to freak out. That's going to happen. You, if your job is to patrol a street where a trap house is or there's a billion guys hanging out on the corner and your job is to make sure that they're not slinging drugs. You know, you know how hard that is if you're not. And I'm not and I'm not saying that. I'm not. But I'm a not lot jumping of that, on this. I'm not jumping like on that one side. scenario. There's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot about. Say, for instance, somebody gets pulled like Sandra Bland. Okay. She got pulled over for a broken taillight, ended up in prison, and she died yeah. in prison. Not even and prison. I mean jail. She died in jail. In jail. Yeah. Some don't seem right there. Of course, because there's always going to be those. There's always going to be those issues. And the other guy. And the, the guy with the, I forgot his name, with the French name, where he was driving with his girl and the kid in the back seat. Oh, um... Oh, oh my God! He had I like could, a I French could, last name. I can, I can see him now. He had, said, the, he had the braids and the glasses. Yeah, yeah. And, and they, stuff. and they said he even told the cop, "I have a firearm." Yeah. Still got shot and killed. Yeah. And, and then the same thing with Tamir Rice. He's yeah. a kid. If now, you see the video, they rolled up on him. Yeah. And he got had a, out. It doesn't matter. And oh, I, I get it. If you, I if get you, it. If, He's got a toy gun. It doesn't matter. Don't roll up five feet away from the guy and shoot him. What you do is you pull up 30 feet away so he can see you and you can actually get out behind the car well, you can use the with your gun drawn and loud, say, drop your gun. They have loudspeakers. They didn't do any of that. No, they didn't. It's the system that's broken. And, well, it's the cops. No, it's the system. It's it's it broke. It's a little bit of both, but yeah, it's more the system. I would than say it is. I would say it's I would say almost I would say almost there are parts of the system that are definitely messed up. Oh yeah. But I would say when you have ninety cops in a precinct and four of them are the ones that are doing this. Now granted, the other cops that know that they're doing it are culpable to it. Yeah, and they if, don't want. They, they don't stop. But it, they don't. And, the and the thing, too. and the thing is, is, they don't want to get involved in it. They're like, they're like, somebody's got to do something, you know. But you, but here's the thing: it's like a fraternity. They're yeah. like a brotherhood. It's well, like, but the, and it's another like, and another like problem you're, you're, is, and another problem with that is, is I I know a couple of cops, and mm-hmm. they say if you snitch, you're looked at a different. You're way. Look, not only are you looked at a different way. If you're in trouble and you need help and you call for help. They don't rush to help you. Yeah. And that's a problem. That's a huge problem. That's a huge problem. So so 
so what happens with the good cops? They got to be good cops, man. They got to say something. Yeah. But the thing is, there's once again, there's consequences yeah, to it. And that's that's the problem. There's consequences because they, to it. They've established a culture to where it's okay to retaliate against somebody you work with. Yeah. But that'll be a whole nother story. Yeah. We're already running over. <laughs> are, are we are we over? Did we did we go past this? This just in Cleveland Cavaliers are up by 39 points. Good God, man. Hey, and they're in Boston. They're on the road. Oh my. Yeah. So shout out to them. Thank you guys. Thank you. After they every- win this game, they're gonna be tied for the lead of the longest playoff winning streak in NBA history. Oh yeah, for anybody who's new listening and doesn't know the Surgeon General is a Cavaliers fan. Yes. So round of applause to them for this absolute demolishment of the number one seed. <laughs> Boston is the number one seed. That's yeah. the funny thing. They are the higher seed and they're just getting absolutely just they have 24 points. Yeah, and it's almost halftime. That's like a high school score. But anyway, Yeah, but like a bad high school. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. So, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening with us. And, you know, if we missed anything, feel free to hit us up on the page. Feel free to hit us up on uh, the Hawks Nest page, Facebook page. Or you can go to at Hawk Politics and you can follow the political hawk. Um, feel free to hit us up with messages. Hey, if we missed something or if you didn't agree with something we said, hit us up. Let us know. We'll talk about it next time. Um, like, like the page. Um, yeah, follow, follow, uh, follow Flow Ohio Radio. That way you can find out when we go live. And that's it. I mean, we got blunt sessions on Wednesdays and Saturdays, Wednesday from 10 to 12 and Saturdays from 8 to 10 and also the Hawk's Nest. Just live. The Hawk's Nest. Whenever you follow, you'll know when we're on. So that's pretty much how that's going to work. We don't have an actual time slot for it yet. But just follow and you'll know when we come on live. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I also uh, forgot to um, introduce the new sound bites. Because as always, uh, we always introduce the new sound bite from last week. From last week's throwback story. Last week, yeah, exactly. Last week's throwback story. Yep. So if you guys actually remember, uh, this was what it was. Fucker right in a pussy. Fucker right in a pussy. Yes, right. Fucker right in a pussy. Fucker right in a pussy. I got that one and I got this. Hell, I'd fucker. You can't say you wouldn't fucker. Hell, I'd fucker. You can't say you wouldn't fucker. Fucker right in a pussy. It's gonna be interesting to see where you're gonna drop fucker right in a pussy. I'm not just gonna drop it at random. Fucker right in a pussy. Fucker right in a pussy. Fucker right in a pussy. Like right now. Hell, I'd fucker. You can't say you wouldn't fucker. You got some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Fucker huh. right in a pussy. It's funny how those kind of go. Those kind of go like back to back. For real. But shout out to everybody who's listening. Thank you guys. Like I said, hit us up and uh, let us know. Um, hey, anything that anything that we missed, any stories that are big to you, you know what I'm saying? You can hit us up and hey, we'll talk about them. We'll figure it we'll, f- we'll find a way. So you can run and tell that homeboy. And you are listening to the Hawks Nest. I'm the president, KP. <laughs> along with my vice president. Surgeon General, baby. And we out. We out of here. No, I'd fuck her. You can't say you wouldn't fuck her. Fuck her right in the pussy. You got some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Get him the hell out of here. Get him out of here.